anything. So, it's a bit of a dilemma. I don't think that's supposed to fall off, yeah. Damn, look at that load. That might potentially be an issue. No, no, look at that. They're all getting uh, stringed up, ready to go for a long day's bailing. You see in the, the boxes there, there's all the, the strings. In this old weapon right now, with the old trailer on, full of straw, got to go and tip it. Bloody dusty. <coughs> I was just up to disturb all this, it's all stuck to the bottom. Um, which is not very good. Anything. But I'll go and tip this somewhere else. Because it's all like wet and smelly. Like that's that heap there, we're gonna rebale it. broken bale just in that field got to pick that up put it in the back of the trailer there's another one in that field somewhere as well there's the old hedge cutter man basically this bale exploded when we were picking it up with the chaser um, pretty frustrating to be honest when it does this because you've got to either rebale it with a baler which can actually break the baler or come here pick it up with the uh, loader which is just a waste of time basically because this should be on the stack shouldn't have to come and pick it up again it's what it is so you're gonna scoop it into there over there somewhere I'm sure you travel along the tram lines that are already there so that you don't compact the ground too much otherwise old farmer boy will be getting upset with me won't he the guy in the hedge cutter over there he is the farmer so he'll be chasing after me if I do anything sketchy on his fields there's two strings still on it which I'll have to cut off and then obviously strings underneath but i've got to make sure that i count the strings because there should be eight and if there's not eight then there's one going to be mixed up with it and when you rebale it that's not good you don't want to put strings through the baler god i can't get that on on always got to cut it near the knot two knots on the string one here and one there when you pull them out you don't want the knots underneath because uh you struggle to pull it out where's this look easy but there's still two in there there you go just hooked it on there pulled it she's out and you can see that's why i couldn't pull it because they're not literally what i was just saying so yeah cool story bro right let's scoop it in there Oh, look at that. Thank <laughs> you. 
gonna go real quick into this. See what I'm doing? Look at that. Just like that, we've uh, cleared that bale. Didn't even have to get out and push the last bit in. Too good. So apparently down here, there's a bale that's like in the corner of the field. It's not broken, but it's just can't get it with the chaser. So I'm just going to try and push it into the bucket. Well, I think I spoke a bit too soon because I've just come across here, found this bloody thing. So yeah, don't know what that's about. There it is, sort of in the hedge a bit. So uh, yeah, let's see what we can do with this. We have got a bale in the bucket. Go and put it in that field just there, because that's our, uh, our straw as well. So just get picked up with M1s then. see it's just sort of turning the straw and like fluffing it up trying to get some air into it so that it dries it's all a bit wet at the minute just been on the phone to dad who's over there i was just saying that that bale's a bit soft and really when you put it on the chaser it doesn't want to be uh on the bottom because you tip it up obviously if you've got a soft bale at the bottom of the stack it's gonna fall over so i've just been over there sprayed on it soft so hopefully even me or Joseph who picks it up will put it on the top of the stack. Um, yeah, but he's saying that I need to get picking up bales. Joseph's on the chaser now, but he wants me to either work through the night or I guess early mornings and do like a solid day on it. <sighs> but the dilemma is I drive that thing it ruins my body just the way the joystick's over here your, your shoulder your arm you sit doing that all day it's just so bad for me for my body and it's just not helping me with my riding at all and also i'll show you when i get in the tractor but the way the armrest is in that tractor there's no comfortable way of putting it you have to slide it right across to you but then that makes your knee all twisted and i've had problems with my knees and my hips and my hips already pretty screwed so i don't want to drive the thing because i i need to be you know i've got a world cup coming up in a in a couple of weeks i need to be fit and healthy i don't want to be killing myself in a flipping tractor so it's a bit of a dilemma but also there's thousands of bales on the ground here and i need to i need to do it it's not ideal to be honest but this is what we're dealing with So, because uh, it was just so much in there, I can't actually tip it. It won't fall out the back. You can see it's like hanging on the flipping top there. It's not very good. Uh, hopefully, I've not bent the thing, but there you go. I just grabbed it and it's uh, let it sort of slide down. There we go. All good. Two heaps. But I'm gonna have to push this about now and just make it make it into a row so that the balers can come and bale it. But you know, that's obviously too big at the minute to bale. So I'm gonna have to push it about with a bucket. There we go, just pushed it about, them two heaps. So that'll sit in the sun for a minute. And on to the next job, just clearing off all, all this uh, dusty stuff is where we blow the balers down uh, every day. And this is all just like dusty, horrible stuff. So I'm gonna clear it up, put it in there, take it up the top, burn it just started to shift these concrete sleepers out of the way because we want to build a stack in that area there and they're obviously in the way so we're going to move these obviously cleaned all that up as well it's all in the trailer or most of it anyway i'm going to move these just to here checking the back here Not really good wearing Crocs though, because it's all in all the, the chaff is in my it's in my Crocs look.
just been set up on the baler, which is pretty unusual because normally I wouldn't be doing a baling. But my dad uh, set me up on it, and now I'm baling this field. So very exciting. There she is on the back. Done. Lovely job. Uh, 171. Just pulled out the last little bit out the back of the baler because we're not going to use this baler again this year. This should be the last bit we've done, so. <laughs> That's all good. It's all good. Baiting, yeah? Yeah. yeah. The old baler's in the shed. Should probably shut the door. Next job, lorry. It's gonna be waiting for me to load in. Tell you what though, I don't think that's supposed to fall off. It's still flashing down there, but I don't think that's meant to be doing. It's literally just a magnet, so that makes sense why I think it hit the tree and then it's um, come off. Onwards and upwards. over about four times the brother has just left his baler in the way i want to go down there so i'm gonna have to shift this out of the way that's as far as i can take it because well i've just chucked it there at least i can get out of this now it's quite tight coming in here and out of here to be fair let's get it Bales are just in that field. Damn, look at that load. And that sky. The only trouble is, I've got to get back in the yard now with this full load, and it is full, like it's rimmed. I can't even see the top of it. So yeah, my dad's following behind with the second trailer. So a bit scared, really. That might potentially be an issue. It's a tree. Uh... Yeah. proper agricultural
make sure that misses it in the mirror. Okay. What? He shot himself because he, he thought I was going to hit the shed, but I'm bloody miles away. <sighs> there we go. That is tight in there, really. But these trailers are massive. I'll probably go and uh, see him in as well. That looks like he's already done it. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Early finish, 10 o'clock. Um, go sleep. And I've got an early start. Hopefully get up at about 5 o'clock and get picking up bales. <laughs> Five o'clock in the morning. We're packed, all the bikes. <laughs> My lights on now. 